Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hype Gazette. Here with the next live base building video. And this is a series that a lot of you guys said you really enjoyed. So I'm gonna be doing this one again. And I wanted to get one more done before I became a Town Hall 10. Uh, Cause I wanted to let you guys have two Town Hall 9 live base builds. And uh, who knows, on my mini account or something, I might be able to do another Town Hall 9 live base build. Uh, but for now, this looks like it might be one of the last ones for a while. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one more thing before I start though is I want to let you guys know I'm doing a Q&A video coming up again. I do these like once a month, give or take, and uh, go ahead and drop your questions in this video or one of the upcoming videos. I don't know exactly when I'll make the Q&A, but it will be in the next uh, few days, probably like two days from now, who knows. Uh, so go ahead and drop your comments, or your questions, sorry, below in the comment section and uh, I'll be sure to take a look at them. If I don't answer them, that might mean because I'm uh, taking a look at them, I'm going to be uh, answering them in the video. And also, if you see a, a question you like, go ahead and drop a like on it so I know that multiple people want that answered. Uh, so anyway, thanks for that. I'll remind you guys again tomorrow, probably. Anyway, though, uh, let's go ahead and get this base build started. And uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different base, I think. Kind of a separated queen chamber. Um, these are, I think, pretty good against Valks, so they're kind of what's being used at Town Hall 9 right now. want to make sure that this base can defend well against Valks, so I'm going to put my uh, CC in the middle as always, um, but I'm going to make the Queen Chamber uh, separated, I believe, uh, so you guys will see what I mean in just a moment. Um, let's go ahead and put some walls down right here. Uh, once again, this is not rehearsed or copied off anything. This is my own live base build. Uh, so just doing this as I go, we'll see how it turns out. Um, let's go ahead and make that wall kind of right like that. Then we'll have probably another compartment going off in that direction. Um, so anyway, the queen chamber will be up here. Uh, let's see if I have room. Yeah, I probably have room for all this. Uh, the queen chamber is going to go ahead and be up here, uh, right like that probably. Uh, move it down one and going to surround it by the typical walls I do around my queen chamber. Just the uh, three tiles between the wall and the and the altar. Uh, I think that's typically a good rule to do. Um, yeah, this is going to have to be slid up quite a bit. Okay. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. We might have to move everything down. This is kind of what sucks about base building is sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, crap, I have to move everything down. Um, so, oh well, let's just go ahead and do it. These are going to be a huge pain to move. Uh, you guys will see what I'm doing in just a moment. Uh, it might be a little confusing right now, but that wall will go somewhere like that. And, uh, alright, then we'll have this like that. Okay, that spacing looks fine. Um, we can go ahead and actually make this one smaller. Boom, and, oops. Boom. All right, so that's done. And I'm going to leave a bunch of space kind of in this area like that. Um, so that should help separate the queen from this area a little bit. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my king yet. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get some possible DGB spots. Let's get some air defenses down. The typical stuff at the beginning of these base builds. So let's go ahead and have this compartment like this. We'll see if we want to put the double set here. Let's not rush to anything right now. Uh, but that's definitely a good spot for one and uh, keep going from there. Yeah, we could do like a test the DGB right here. Let's do that, that could be kind of interesting and that could be kind of unexpected. So let's put our giant bombs like that and let's put a defense right here. Um, maybe like an expo or something. We have to slide this down one, but that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and that could be a good DGB spot that people won't be expecting. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep that like that. Um, and then we can extend that farther up later. Okay, we need some dead space right here, so we can go ahead and put that there. Um, that there. And then we can go ahead and close this thing off a little bit. Let's move this out one. We can throw in like a cannon or something just just because why not? Go ahead and put that cannon in there. Um, okay. That looks good. And, uh, all right, let's go ahead and see where the CC radius is. Just give us an idea of where this needs to be built around. 
Um, we can go ahead and throw this wall up here, start another compartment in this direction. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these up here. Um, I'm going to have a compartment like this probably and one like this to help protect the queen further. Right like that. That looks good. Uh, queen looks pretty protected and I can't quite fit buildings out here. Uh, should I move it? Yeah, let's go ahead and slide everything down one. I know this is really tedious, but um, this happens during base builds all the time, so you guys aren't seeing anything that I don't do all the time, I guess. Let's go ahead and throw that there, but I've become pretty quick at moving things just because I've had to do it so much. Okay. And like that. Let's move this down and okay, perfect. All right, there we go. Yeah, they, they need to implement a feature where you can like select a bunch of stuff and move it all as one piece. That would be kind of uh, helpful. But anyway, so we got that big area in the middle there. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one more compartment out here though. Uh, it can be like this big. Just start getting the compartments done. Uh, planning out how this base is going to be set up. And we'll have this one out like that, which is great. Check their CC radius. Have one around that size. Like that. And then have it extend out a little bit more like that. And finally, like one last compartment uh, to go kind of like this. A little, little low on walls. Um, I can probably make a change around here. I don't need this to extend out as far. Make this a little bit smaller. Um, slide this down one. Oops. This will be kind of an interesting base, but I don't want to bring you guys the exact same base design I did last time. I want to keep it uh, mixed up a little bit. So make this a little smaller. Just kind of make everything a little bit smaller. That's how you can get some extra walls freed up. And uh, that should be good. Um, they are kind of in, I can move this out actually is what I can do. I can move that like there. And then, oh, so close to closing that off. Uh, where can I borrow some walls from? Let's do that. That, one, two. Okay, great. Um, I probably, in going, the only problem is this air defense can be targeted. Uh, somewhat easily yeah oh well we'll get to that in a minute and um, we can move the air defenses if we need to but anyway uh, this is kind of how the base is gonna look let's go ahead and start filling some stuff in um, let's, let's do two double sets of bombs just because why not uh, let's put one like that and actually we can do one going in this would be cool we can do one going into the core from back here, if we throw in like a sneaky little Tesla, like that, and then we fill in some trash buildings around it, um, we could, yeah, we could do this. We can do that, and boom, boom. So that's filled in great. I don't want to put any defenses in that little moat, cause I, except for the Tesla, obviously, because I want to keep the base kind of segmented like that. And then we can put like, um, let's do an expo, get good value for that expo up there. Um, that expo anti-queen walk can't be targeted from the outside of the compartments, uh, stuff that I've talked about before. Then a cannon right there. And the great thing is uh, the walls make sure it can't really be triggered uh, from the, whatever it's called, the short side, I guess. Um, so that's, that's good there. That might have to be an air defense, we'll see. Um, this should definitely be an air defense. Let's do that. Um, that's good. We can throw an air defense back by the queen. I don't see why not. Help defend against some dragons. And this is going to have to be an air defense, unfortunately. So yeah, those will be the, that'll be the air defense setup. Not bad. This one can be targeted on a queen walk, but dragons got a huge nerf with the time uh, constraints because you can't do those long queen walks anymore. And just for kicks, I'll throw an air sweeper. Um, to help it out a little bit over here, I guess. Have that pointed down like that to blow away some healers and stuff, so that works out great. Uh, we can put the other air sweeper somewhere in here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll put the other air sweeper like right over here. 
blowing down that way or actually like that yeah that looks good um let's go ahead and fill in a few defenses up top want to have these archer towers that i think i've talked about before in other videos uh those are huge to defend against dragons uh to prevent the funnel and stuff because i'll i'll be throwing some trash buildings like the town hall and such up here put that down one and uh some high hp storages just to make it a little bit harder on the attacker then just throw some regular stuff out here um, don't want to throw in the trash too much though because i have other stuff to put down Trash is usually the last stuff you put down. Okay, let's do a wizard tower. Um, then we can just fill in some space. Actually, we'll, we'll worry about that later. I guess we'll want a cannon in there. Maybe like a mortar. And that should be fine. Okay, slide that over one just so we don't have a gap. We'll take care of the rest later. Uh, now let's do some more defenses. We're going to have to get rid of these archer towers, all this stuff here. So we can go ahead and throw two wizard towers. And what actually is good with those wizard towers is putting your small bombs. Because the splash damage to hogs is very powerful like that. So we can throw in some of these little bombs here. Um, and then like one of this to help fill in the gap. We just need a builder's hut. There we go. So that will help fill in uh, the, the gap there. No gap. So... Uh, damage to hogs coming right there and uh, we'll throw a mortar out here to make the pathing a little bit harder we'll probably put some spring traps in that area too uh, let's throw the king where should the king go yeah we'll put him we'll put him down here need the dead space anyway for the possible dgb spot we're trying to make look like is there and then the one defense to lead into it we can do this archer tower um, we'll throw a cannon in there and I'm thinking we're gonna go troll Tesla on this base. So we'll probably put one down at the bottom here. Uh, and then the other one, yeah, why not go double troll Tesla? This is what's working. I, Cause soaking up one attack is pretty important. So I think these double troll Teslas work. You guys saw in the live attack, how that screwed me up. So yeah, let's go ahead and do, we'll do one troll Tesla actually. Typically, that's enough to screw up an attack. Um, it's hard to fresh hit, especially when you're a max town hall nine. We'll save that other test for later. I do have these expos I want to get rid of at some point. Um, we can throw one down here and uh, the other one like that. Okay, that's great. Actually, we can put it higher. It's not going to trigger that one because the giant bomb set back a little bit. We shouldn't have to worry about that. And I don't want to make. I don't want to telegraph these. Double giant bomb spots to people when they're attacking. Um, let's put that there. Go ahead and throw a mortar in here. And now I just need to put some point defense over here. And all that looks great. Um, from here, what we can do is start filling in with these high HP buildings in the little moat here. I want to keep it spread out. They don't know what's going to be in here. That's part of the... Um, that's part of the surprise is they have no idea what's in this moat here. There could be a Tesla farm. There could be, you know, a double giant bomb set, which there is. Uh, so that's just going to throw off a lot of attackers, I think. And they can try to do a queen walk down here. That's one thing that you have to worry about. Um, so I'm trying to think how I can combat that. I could throw the king in the middle, but no, that'll just draw some Valks in. I could do some air sweepers to help push stuff away. Um, I might end up doing that. Let's just see here for a second. Let me just get rid of a few more defenses. Um, let's put like a wizard tower right there. And we can finish stuff off with a mortar like so. Okay. All the defenses are looking good. The double giant bombs are pretty spread out. Um, now we can start to put some traps down, some trash buildings and see if these air sweepers should be switched up a little bit. Because um, you don't want people to queen walk into this little moat here that can cost an attack. Well, this base probably won't have a packet in the CC anti-queen walk because that's the biggest threat for this base. So yeah, we'll probably have a packet in the CC if I, was to, if I were to use this base. Um, let's move this out so it can't have the lure. The CC radius looks good though. Everything's pretty much covered. Um, sorry about that. 
and then we'll slide this one over here. Uh, but anyway, I'm thinking to do anti-queen walk on this base, what we want to do is push that like that and have our little sweeper pushing out that way. And I'm trying to think if it's more worth it to have the queen. Mm, this is a difficult decision. Yeah, let's go ahead and just make sure they can't queen walk into this moat. I know it's going to make it a little easier to queen walk at the bottom, but so be it. Just protect the moat is, I guess, what we're going for here. So this way they're going to have a lot of trouble coming in uh, with those sweepers pushing back the healers and whatnot. Um, just make it really unfriendly so they have to come at this base from the bottom. Uh, that looks good. Okay, now we have... Let's put some more HP over here, actually. That's better. And then we can fill in this with just buildings. And now we'll just fill in some trash around the outside. But first, let's go ahead and get these spring traps down. Move the king over one right there. Uh, yeah, let's get these spring traps down. Pretty good spot for one is right there. And then there's another good spot. Put that down there. Actually, let's put a builder's head. You know, could be Tesla's. They don't know what's going on in there. Uh, when in doubt, you know, let the attacker be worried about stuff. Don't, you know, make it too easy for them to say, hey, there's not anything going on there. So let's put the spring traps there. Uh, let's put that. Should we? Yeah. And then let's have one in here. Actually, that's a big threat for hogs. Let's forget that one there. Um, and let's go ahead and go with a second spring trap up in this area somewhere. Uh, we could throw it. Where'd it go? All these stupid flags. <laughs> uh, we can throw it in like that. So that way, if they send hogs through, it makes it a little bit more tricky. Because uh, there could be a good chance of hogs coming through the top area. I don't want to roll that out. One Tesla we can kind of use to troll people a little bit. Um, where should we throw this one Tesla? Let's go ahead and put it out here. Just up the DPS. A lot of point defense at the bottom there. That's going to not be very friendly to hogs or whatever's coming through. So that's good there. And also balloons and stuff. That'll hurt it pretty bad. Okay. Now we have the skellies, which you can kind of put them where you wherever you want, really. Um, let's go ahead and throw these over here. Not a whole lot going on besides that one double set. So we can throw that over there. Um, all right. Now I have the air traps to deal with. I could see dragons coming through, um, so let's throw one up like that, because they could like lightning spell the queen and the air defense, we'll put the air defense a little further back, but they still could lightning spell it, so let's still have that trap up there, and we can throw one of the red ones. Then this would be a good place to put some red traps, one on each side, so one of them should hopefully hit some balloons or something that comes through, and then one down here for this big ambush on the balloons. As far as what air defense they'll probably leave up if they come in for something. And this is the most exposed. I'm not sure if that means it'll that they'll leave it or not. But uh, we can just do one for each. I don't think there's any one air defense where it's like uh, they probably won't take it out. They'll probably use their lava hounds on it if they're attacking from the air. So we'll just spread it out. One for each air defense. Uh, nothing wrong with doing that. And then from there, let's put some of these trash buildings down. And I think we're good unless we forgot any defenses. Now let's just throw these trash down and see how this base looks. Okay, so that goes there. And now we can just kind of work this our way around. Like I said, these uh, army camps, you want to put them on places where there's not corners. Because if there are corners, that's going to make it really easy for them to funnel in their queen on a queen walk. So you want these smaller buildings on the corner makes it a little bit trickier to break the funnel for your queen. Uh, so we're going to do just that and put the smallers there. And then these big army camps where there's not corners, uh, we can throw one more up here like that. Might get a little bit low on trash buildings, we'll see. Just going to keep them nice and spread out here, but don't want to leave any gaps really for them to get to the wall too easily. Um, all right, that goes there. And now just some at the bottom here. One like that. This actually is going to work out very nicely, have a perfect amount of stuff. Um, that's the base though, guys. Obviously, have all my decorations down here, which I bought to try to screw up the attacker even more because uh, they can, you know, make you're trying to deploy your stuff, but it's 
uh, decoration, which you actually can deploy stuff on top of. But some people, you know, in the panic, they don't know that. They deploy it farther back. Uh, so I guess decorations are kind of a really, really expensive defense that doesn't do much, but it's an advantage, I think, in my opinion. Anyway, though, that's the plan. I think everything looks pretty good here. We have the double giant bomb sets, which the pathing works out uh, pretty solid, I'd say. I'd say it's hard to trigger these uh, any way other than they're intended to. This one's especially pretty sneaky because they're probably not going to see it coming through like that. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to continue this series as a Town Hall 9.5 and a Town Hall 10, because uh, I will if you guys want me to, if some of the higher level people want to see some live base builds. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll continue the Town Hall 9 base builds in the future on my mini account, or if I just only use Town Hall 9 defenses for this account, I can still do it, obviously. So we'll see about that. But anyway, wanted to get one last Town Hall 9 base build before everything gets crazy as a Town Hall 10. Uh, so... Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.